Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the logical operators. So already we have completed this comparison select uh, operators. So these are all the things we have learned it about the in and also not in. These are all the things we have learned it. Now let's try to uh, let's move on to this logical operators. In this one, first we'll try to learn about the OR operator. Instead of learning before end, we'll try to learn about the OR operator. So what does this OR operator does? Joins query classes with a logical OR, returns all documents that match the conditions of either class. That means either conditions. So condition one or condition two, like that. If you click on this OR thing, here you will be able to see the logical OR operations between between two or more expressions. So at least the document has to satisfy one of the expression. The syntax for this on OR is so first we need to make, make, uh, keep OR. And we need to give array of the expressions. Those are nothing but conditions. For example, let's say that or and it is an array of object and here quantity should be less than 20 or price equal to 10. So the either either this one or this one should satisfy. Let's try to see the real time implementation, practical implementation. If I go into this one, here we are having some books, right? So we already did the books thing. So let's I, I will try to show you the output so these are all some of the books available in our thing so here what i will try to do is here we are having quantity 10 and quantity 20 okay so quantity the price 35 so like this we are having right so what i will try to do is something like i want to have <coughs> quantity which is greater than uh, which is less than 30 okay and a price and a price less than 45 or something like that or otherwise price less than 25 like that we'll try to see it i will try to show you so here if i try to add db dot books dot find we need to use and here we need to have an object so first we need to instead of having the key name we need to keep dollar r okay so this will take an array and this array you will give the list of all conditions so you can write something like it is also an object and quantity the so quantity will be in the details right so details dot quantity and here you can write an object something like dollar greater than or equal to 30 okay and here you can have another condition such that here i can keep a comma and here we can also write details dot quantity or otherwise let's say that price is equal to 30 okay so price which is equal to 40 or 50 let's say so price which is equal to 50 and also details dot quantity which is greater than or equal to 30 or less than or equal to we'll try to maintain now let's try to see the pretty so now what it will try to see here so here it will try to search for the books with an or operator and these are the two conditions which is having details dot quantity less than or equal to 30 either it has to have quantity less than or equal to 30 or a price which is equal to the 50 so if i try to press enter so we are able to get an output now let's try to see what could be the output here so where could be this condition yeah so for this one the price quantity is 15 so it is not equal to 50 but that less than equal to 30 so this is less than or equal to quantity less than or equal to 30 so that is the reason we are able to get this book and here also the same price same thing the price is not equal to uh, 50 but the quantity is less than 30 here the quantity is less than or equal to we have given less than or equal to that is the reason we are able to get this one and here if you try to see quantity is 7 and the price is 15 so now we, we haven't got anything price which is equal to 50 let's try to see some of the quantity so let's say that price is equal to 87 we have a quantity let's try to add this condition also so i will try to do this time less than or equal to less than only and a price should be equal to 87 now if you try to see here so we are able to get 20, 10 20 and also 7 okay so we also able to get this quantity which is less than 37 what we do we haven't to have this okay the problem is we haven't we have given that is price is exactly we need to give something like details dot price okay it is present in the details right so we need to give it like this now if i try to press enter now i will be able to get a price which is equal to 87 also okay so this is how we can use this r operator 
so not only like this we can also use something like price less than 30 okay or details dot price so you can have another thing which is greater than okay you can use the greater than so dollar greater than 87 you can also use it like this also not a problem now if you try to press enter so we are able to get an output in a such a way that so here details dot price greater than 87 so we do we haven't anything greater than 87 why because 87 is the only maximum one so for example if i try to keep greater than 50 so if you keep greater than or equal to 50 then you will get a book with the price of exactly 87 so now if you try to see here we are able to get 87 this one also 55 but this price quantity is not less than 30 but price is greater than 50 that is the reason it is coming so here the quantity is less than 30 either one of these conditions should satisfy so details dot quantity less than 30 should satisfy or details dot price should be greater than 50 it should satisfy here the quantity is less than 30 but the price is not greater than 50 so here the at least one of the condition is satisfying because of that reason we are able to see the output so this is how we can use the or condition in the query query selection so for example let's say that <coughs> let's say that we need to have uh, we need we need to we need to get a data in a such a way that uh, exactly quantity 20 or 50 i want to get the books which are quantity 20 or 50 so i can write a condition in a such a way that db dot books dot find so here i can use the dollar r okay and i can use here details dot quantity should be equal to uh, what i want 67 okay 67 is one quantity and also 50 i want to get these two things and i can have another condition okay this should be an array so we are having multiple expressions right this should be an array and here i can use another one details of quantity so details dot quantity is equal to something like 50 okay so this is the condition what i want to do i want to get the books details which details dot quantity is equal to 67 or details dot quantity is equal to 50 now if you try to press enter so you will be able to get two things which are having property id what is that we have written one second let's try to see it what is the problem we are getting here okay this could be the problem yes this is the problem so i need to remove this double quotes here i need to add double quotes here okay now if i try press enter now you are able to get quantity exactly 50 it is matching and also quantity exactly 71 it is matching so i want to get the details book details whose quantity is 50 or 67 instead of using or this type of queries it's better we can use the in operator so now if i try to use the same thing db dot books sorry db dot books dot find of so details dot quantity i can use something like details dot quantity okay i can use something like sorry so for this uh, details what we want to so we want to get a quantity 50 and 67 right so i can use db dot books dot find and here i can write something like an object so details dot quantity okay details dot quantity and i can use the in operator instead of using this one so i can use in it should be of something like 50 comma 67 okay so if i try to press enter i will be able to get the same output instead of using this or operator so now if i am using this or operator so using this key this query or otherwise using this query is one and the same so when you are trying to use the same equality operator with the same what i can say with the equality operator with the same field so it's better instead of using the or operator we can use the in operator in our in operator will be the better thing instead of using this or operator so that is the thing i want to tell you so this is all about the or operator and also we have an another operator also that is nothing but so instead of doing the, doing this one so here you can use a nor operator okay nor means n that means the other than 67 and 48 so it will get you all the details okay so if i try to see here so i will be able to get all the details so now you will be able to get quantity 10 so 67 50 should not be there right 20 30 40 47 7 so these are all the things are there other than this 60 and 47 
so this is an inverse of the r so this is all about the details so this is this is all about the r and the nor operator these are one and the same only so r operator means it will it will do a joining of this uh, two fields or the same fields using the r operator and nor means the inverse of this r operator in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to see about the and operator also hope you understood about this r and the nor operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you